All right, so to add the variable jump height, it's real simple to do. You just want to open up your third person, go to blueprints, go to your third person character or first person character. All right, so once you have it open up, we don't need to add any nodes or anything. You just want to click the self right up here. And over here on the right in the details, we are looking for jump max hold time. And if it's kind of hard to find it, you can just come up here to the search and search for jump max hold time right here. I'm going to simply set my value to about 0.3. You go a little bit higher if you want to. But essentially what this does is lets the jump key be held for a little bit longer if the name didn't give it away. So yeah, if we compile and save, I can show you what this does. All right, and as you can see, this ledge right here, I tap, I can almost make it up there. I can kind of make it up there. But if I hold down my space, see how much higher I go? This is tapping. This is holding. So yeah, I know this video was short, but it's not a super complicated thing to do. But it's uh, something that many people might not know about. So yeah, if you enjoyed or found it useful, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.